Michael, we're just in the bathroom. The smell is horrendous. Yes, it's quite strong, all right. Stephen, it's, it's, I don't know how anybody can live in these conditions and it's all down to a blocked sewage pipe. Oh, or a collapsed sewage pipe, whichever it is, but Michael. nobody wants to take responsibility. On picture at the moment, we are here looking into the shower. This is, uh, I, I just don't know how to describe it. The smell is just out of this world. Three months this is going on. Three months, okay. But there's an issue here for the last couple of years. We will speak in the backyard in a few moments in connection with this, but I, I'm sorry, I have to get out of here. This, it's absolutely horrendous. The smell is just too much. It's toxic. So we're just going to make our way out along here. So Michael is going to maybe show us around no. the backyard. This out here is where the sewage is actually running down out of the manhole. So I'm just showing around gathering, here. Gathering here at this wall. Now it's actually seeping into the house next door. Okay, can I just now, maybe show that there at the moment? Okay, so it's, it's, it's seeping, seeping in underneath the, the wall, right through the foundation. The house next door. Yes, yeah. Oh, geez, this is now, crazy. This, now you have to watch where you're stepping here now. On over Michael, this just describe what we're at here. This is literally a stream of sewage that's flowing. You can see the excrement and, and, and toilet paper around the place if you look carefully. It's awful. This, this, the man came up to me today. He was he was pure irate. He said, "My water is is busting up out of the ground." And again. to know the ridiculous thing about this, we are now in a mini heat wave this weekend. I look at yes, the state of this. Look at this. How can they continue in this? You can see where the, where the sewage is actually flowing from the manhole. This is here. disgusting. Now I have to say to our viewers no. out there, just and, disgusting. And for something that has come to light. Explain today, what has come to light. What, what has come that? to light today is the man called me down and he said, My boiler is starting to move away from the wall. I can see it is coming out. Over here in the corner, the yard is after collapsing. Oh, so it's gone down. It's gone down. The divide mall is starting to lean in towards the house as well. So That is quite whole, visible actually about the wall leaning in. This he had to put concrete blocks on top of the manhole to try and stop the sewage from coming up. It and what about work. the rodents? I believe but a rat came through there recently again. Yeah, yeah. And, and in my house, I'm living in number 28, and we have cats, and my cats are bringing rats home every other day. They're, oh, this they're is dead. And it's just... I may actually have a word with Anne-Marie Ryan Shiner and Tony Black in just a second, because they have, in fairness, I'm just taking in going along here now again, it's absolutely disgusting, because Tony and... I'll also be speaking to another resident and that's Sean, he's going to have a chat with me in just a few moments. But if I could get Anne-Marie, I'm just again trying to tiptoe out here because it's, it's disgusting. So if I could get Anne-Marie and, and Tony, I'll just get you in here in front of me if I could. Anne-Marie, please. Anne-Marie, can you just explain, you were in this house already. Literally, you nearly got sick. Um, I did. I was here, I think it was about two weeks ago, and I came in with yourself and Mike, the neighbour, and had a look around and look, it really is an environmental hazard, in my opinion, that nobody should be living in that house. There was raw sewage on the ground, in the toilet, coming up through the shower, and it was appalling, really. And, you know, and since then and since before that, when we were notified about it, both myself and Tony have been contacting Irish Water. One of their replies was it's a private estate, which is incorrect. The second one was really, I suppose at this stage, I don't have any response from Irish Water. We've made representation after representation. So has Tony and we're getting nowhere with them. You know, look, they have taken over from the local authority. They are now the organization responsible for water and sewerage and it is their responsibility to come down here and at least come down and engage with the owners that are living here we are aware that it is a combined sewerage pipe and it historically has caused issues and during the time up until when irish water had taken over before that the council used to come down and deal with this kind of once every six months or once a year so the council are aware of the issues that are here historically Irish Water would have been made aware of those when the handover happened, or you'd imagine at least they would have. So Irish Water have a duty to come down here, at least come and speak to the residents in the area and say, look, what can we find a solution forward? This isn't one house. It's affecting one house, but there's at least 33 houses, I think, along this road, or 40 houses that are sharing a pipe that is probably 40, 50, 60 years old at this stage, and it can't cope. And unfortunately, it is coming up in this gentleman's house. Tony Black is also with us. Uh, that's Council Tony Black. Tony, just to go along with what Anne-Marie was just saying there, you are so frustrated over this. 
Yeah, it's extremely frustrating, Stevie, as uh, Marie already mentioned. Um, we've been in touch with Irish Water for weeks uh, regarding this. Um, I, I came into the house uh, uh, at the request of neighbours and before this got as bad as it is now. And, you know, it was it was bad then. Like it's, it's after deteriorating to an awful an awful state at this moment in time. Like it's 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 just it's incomprehensible in this day and age that, you know, people can be left to live like this. You know, Irish water have, a, have, a, have something to answer for here as far as I'm concerned it's their responsibility they're the ones who wanted the water utility services to be handed over to them by the county council we fought against that we flagged it as an issue we said at the time we put it to a motion myself and Marie our colleague councillor David Dunn we put a motion to Tipperary County Council last year and we called for Irish, wa- for Irish water to be wound down and for the water services to be handed back to the and local what authority the response, Tony? Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil voted against us Why? and they voted confidence in Irish water they have confidence in Irish water. As of last year, they did. They had confidence in Irish water. Have they confidence now looking at this video, looking at these people living like this, in this kind of an it's environment? It's disgusting, it's isn't it? It's a disgrace, Stevie, is what it is as far as I'm concerned. Anne-Marie, your views on that, please. Well, you can't really come around saying, oh, this is terrible, it's not right, and then vote confidence in a, in a utility company that are not providing a decent service. This is a health hazard in this house at this stage. But what I would say to Irish Water as well is they don't like bad publicity. So what we're going to do when this video is ready, we will go on Twitter and we will tag Ishka Aaron and ask them for a response. Because right now at this stage, between myself and Tony, um, Martin Brown's office in Cashel have been ringing and ringing them. Yeah, we're just getting back a reference number after reference number saying somebody will come back to you. In the meantime, but the are they coming back? No. You see? And the only bit of information we are getting is from Tipperary County Council, um, the lads who used to work in the water services that, that know the pipe that's under the ground here and are able to tell that this is a, a combined sewage system that serves up to 40 houses. So they're aware of the problem. They have handed that over to Irish Water. Ishka Aaron, Irish Water, you can spend millions on changing your name. You need to come down here and spend a lot less than the name change money to sort out this house. Tony. Yeah, just to highlight, um, just in regard to the correspondence and the communication from uh, Ishka Aaron, I, they're Irish Water, same company, they're trying to forget what, what, they, what they were, but same company. Um, the first time I came down to this house, I took pictures, uh, sent pictures and videos to Irish Water along with my representation, asking for them to intervene before it got worse. And do you know the response I got? Mm-hmm. I missed a phone call from them. They left me a voicemail, and what they said in the voicemail was, oh, it's a private matter. That's literally it. That's really Two sentences at most and that was their response that's how they it, it's been found to be a private matter and that's what we that's what we were told i'm going to speak to another resident and michael you may just uh, explain uh, tell me who we have here sean this is sean sean is just living up the road from me okay sean how have you been affected well when i flush my toilet um if the water is building up and the manhole is full and when the, while the water drops inside in the toilet it comes back up in the shower and i'm 13 houses away. Right, okay. Up the, up the hill. Sean, I have to be honest. The smell must be horrific in your house. Well, unacceptable? from time to time. Unacceptable, perhaps? Yes, yes, yes. Very unacceptable. But, um, don't seem to have any council to want to know Irish water. You're very annoyed over this? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, very annoyed over it. And what has your no. wife said about it? Oh, sure. Keeps getting on to me about get, will you get on to this and get on to that for I get on to the whoever, but then who do you get on to like? But Valerie is right they to say want to know. that to you, Irish isn't wa- she? Irish water don't want to know. You see, that's, uh, that is very, very frustrating. Sure. Michael? Well, as far as I can see, now Irish water did engage with us at one stage and they sent out jet trucks and they blasted out the the drain. When, <coughs> when now, roughly it was that? It for a short period of time. When was that? That was couple of months ago was right. the last one or was it last year there were thereabouts but, but what kind of power was going through those pipes if those pipes are very very old couple, oh my god they're, they're, these pipes are in here since pre-30s 1930 which are the um the, the lads in the council that used to do the 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 storage around here said they shouldn't be jetting that that it's only going to cause damage and i'm afeared i'm afraid at this stage, it has caused the damage. But that was the and question I was going to put to you. this is blocked here now. There's no freeness at all. But that's the question I was going to put to you. If I could go back maybe to Anne-Marie for just one moment on that. Anne-Marie, you know quite well, you and I have both been power washing all over the town <laughs> for a long number of years. <laughs> with have. various events and Tony as well. There's savage power coming out of it. How can any pipe take that? 
Well, the newer pipes can, obviously, but we have we know that the pipes in this shared system have never been upgraded, and they are clay pipes, but and they're, they're about quite narrow. Years. They are. So the question is, I suppose, what we really need Irish Water to do is come out and examine the pipes and show us evidence of what they look like right now, because... You know, you can't ask an individual house owner to go and do that kind of exploratory work because it's hugely expensive. So really at this stage, the argument that it's a private property and it's it's a backyard thing and we can't do it doesn't really wash when it's a shared combined sewage system. And historically, Tipperary County Council have maintained this going forward. You hand over the responsibility for Irish Water, you expect the same service. So really what we're saying is Irish Water need to come out, they need to do some exploratory work, look at the pipes, see do they need upgrading. This is not one house, this is 40 houses. Okay, the problem is in this house right now, but who's to say it's not in somebody else's house or going to move further on? It's going to happen. There is a pipe at the back of these properties coming down from Blackthorn Grove that only serves a smaller amount of numbers, which is a newer pipe. The question has been asked, could pipes or drains being run from these houses to the back and link up with that? I don't know the answer. None of us here know the answer, but Irish Water know the answer. We need them to come down they and must talk. They surely know it's, the answer. It's really about engagement. We need engagement. We're hoping that this video will actually enable the engagement to start because so far, ringing the local council rep number is getting us nowhere. That's only just moving it on. Tony, we need answers. Yeah, look, just before I suppose we finish up, um, as far as I'm concerned, Irish Water are responsible for this. They wanted the responsibility of the water. They want the responsibility from the local authorities. And we're not, go we're not going to go away like. This isn't going to go away until these people have their problems solved. And it can only be solved by Irish Water. They didn't want the, the water handed back to the local authorities. They wanted it as their own utility. They wanted to do this. So we're calling on Irish Water here today on Ishke Aaron to come out here and solve this problem. No matter what it takes, it's their responsibility as far as we're concerned. It's not the residents. They haven't caused this. Irish Water need to come out and do this. Well, I want to thank Sean as well. Sean, just before we do wrap it up, your views on what Tony and Anne Marie have said here, very, very positive from both, and I'm oh, not yeah. surprised oh, because yeah. they're very, brilliant very good, but, but tis, They're very good, but unless Irish Water or East Cairn or whatever they're called come out here, we're at nothing. Unless we go do our own, unless we, we take the law into our own hands and, and do it ourselves. At least with the lads coming down here, we have somebody else. Just give else. the mic to you there, Michael. At least with the two lads coming down here, we have somebody else in our corner. We don't feel like we're on our own anymore, you know? No, we're, we're here. We're How important is that, Michael? Oh, jeez. <laughs> At least you're going to be honest. Come on. It's, it's number one, you know, it's number one as far as we're concerned. At least we're getting a bit of support. Michael, you I know? was up in your backyard not too long you ago know? when a rat came through the, the actual right, came yeah. up to the manhole. That was disgusting. How does your wife feel about that and your she family? <laughs> My wife just hides in the house. <laughs> like she, Maybe she's she, afraid of them. We can't even use a toilet at this stage, you know? Because every time you flush a toilet, two gallons of water goes down there into the drain. Okay. So it just fills up everything. everything okay, I'm going to wrap it up so now. you just adding to the problem, adding mm. and adding, you know? I'm and going to wrap no it up now, it, you know, Michael, no because... Release. And I'd like to thank the mm, councillor, Tony and Emery for coming down and engaging with us. At least we feel we're not alone. And marie the response, uh, I think, is going to be quite good. Just, just look at what you're looking at here. It's disgusting. It is. Look, I was here a couple of weeks ago, and this time I'm not actually going to go into the house because... It was too distressing and I don't live in it, so I don't know how the couple are managing here, to be honest. And look, it, in my opinion, this is an environmental hazard as well. It's, it's in the house, it's outside the house, it attracts vermin. It's extremely unhealthy for a residential area to be suffering from raw sewage flowing down the garden and into next door's property. And you just wonder the amount of damage that it's doing to the environment yeah. as well as to the residents. No, no mind your morale as well and how you must be feeling oh, in your own home. Can you imagine you wheels, actually, disease or anything, Tony? Yeah, it's just not good. Yeah, look, as far as we're concerned, myself and Emery and Martin Brown's office, uh, the, the residents on Cashel Road here deserve better than what they're getting off of, uh, off of Ish Gairn. Uh, they deserve to have this problem sorted. And, like, nobody should have to endure this. It's, it's a disgrace in this day and age that people are having to, to endure this. Um, look, we'll keep, we'll keep fighting for them. We'll keep on to Ish Gairn. We'll keep engaging with our TD's office and with the, with the council and whoever we need to the media and everyone just to make sure that this actually gets sorted because they deserve better than this. Tony, Anne-Marie, Sean... 
Michael, all I can say is thank you all for joining me here at the rear of this house this evening. Now, I have to say, maybe the camera you might think is a little bit unsteady at times, but believe me, if you saw what I'm standing on, you would totally understand. Yeah. Is that correct, Tony? 100% Stevie, yeah. And Marie, final word to you. Look, we're here. I, sometimes I know it, I can, I, it's so frustrating for you. We're frustrated, but we don't have to live in it, so we can go home, so we're the lucky ones here, really. And yeah. we're very sorry that you have to put up with this, and we'll do everything in our power. Myself, Tony, um, TD Martin Brown's office, we're all pushing and pulling and trying to get we some sort of resolution. So, yeah. yeah. It is, much, have it is yeah. much appreciated, and the more support we have, the better. But it is Ishke Aaron's problem to sort it out. Yeah. And well, it's we definitely now shown in good hands with uh, our oh two yeah, friend representative still this evening, Dasan Marie, along with uh, Tony Black. Right. Michael, if uh, you're the person that's got this going with me, from the outset, well, you know, final the, word then the, to you. The one who, who brought this highlighted at all, I was up here, so I'm about a metre higher. Now my manhole is full at the moment. This house is suffering badly, and Mr Duffy next door, he's been on to Irish water. He told me he is in excess of 400 calls made to Irish water, and they just keep fobbing him off. But it was him that called, called up to me and said, we need to get together, we need to do something about it. And Jim is one of the reasons I got into it. So Michael, all I can say is thank you indeed for raising this. It has already reached the Sunday World, so a big thank you to the Sunday World as well. Tony Black, and along with Anne-Marie Ryan Schreiner, and of course Sean is there with us, and yourself, Michael. All I can say is this house is very close to being condemned. Stephen, I want to thank you for highlighting it for us. Without you, we'd be lost. That's thank uh, you, Stephen. And Marie and Tony, you Absolutely. will all know that that's what I do in the local community. Is uh, If there's issues to be raised, we certainly will raise them and we will publicise them. Folks, all I can say is thank you indeed for joining me. And just before we do go, the gentleman, the occupier, the owner of this house is maybe just a bit too upset at the moment to come on camera, but I will show him there. There he is, the gentleman that owns the house and it is just I tried to explain or maybe to get a few answers from him a little bit earlier and the man is just too upset to talk on camera and we can only just send our good wishes to him and hopefully this will be cleared up very very soon.